Do you have a mascot? Yes, I do, Jimmy. It's this guy. My ideal man. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it? Uh, this is a little guy I made at school. Um, I wasn't very good at faces. <laughs> <laughs> so I refused to make a face. You refused? Yeah. But the teacher said, you need oh. to finish that. And I said, it is finished. <laughs> <laughs> did, you, did you pretend he would put his head under his yeah. jumper like that? I genuinely just... tried to say not everyone had a head. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> um, there Sean. he is. Yeah. Sean, just... <laughs> Sure, not all I would say is commit to the bit. I think do the rest of the show like that. Yeah. You know me, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about commitment. Sean, are you all right in there? Yeah, yeah, fine, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I bet it's cosy. It's actually quite smelly. Oh. <laughs> you don't normally get to sort of live in a tent with your armpits like this. Bet, yeah, it must be quite weird. Must be difficult. Anyway, um, yeah, well, hang on, we're, we're just... Yeah. <laughs> Where's my pen? You <laughs> <laughs> <These> guys! <laughs> you guys! <laughs> we better get back, otherwise we won't get paid, Jesus. <laughs> I'll play ah, Countdown ah, all ah. on my own. <laughs> Quite fun. That was very much like being back at school. <laughs> <laughs> I assume someone's doing something behind me. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you sit, feeling ghosts? There's no one behind you. Yeah, there is. <laughs> <laughs> I could not be prouder of this. My mascot is that uh, recently, 2000 AD, the comic that I collected. Well, I don't think From childhood. Coincidental. <laughs> what, that yawn? <laughs> you know what? I am in awe of you, and we do get on really well. But if you yawn when I talk about <laughs> this, I will stick that fucking can. <laughs> Johnny, <laughs> Johnny, Johnny bring, bring it out again. What, yeah, yeah, make sure you get the yawn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited about this. Dawn, what have you got? <laughs> If you could change one rule in Countdown, what would that rule be? Well, first, I'd like the cameramen to get a bit more involved. Come out, <laughs> chip in, <laughs> give us advice, <laughs> say, Oi, this is, there's another letter there you haven't used. You know, just generally get more involved <laughs> in the show, cos people don't realise that this is being filmed. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but if I could change one rule of Countdown, it would be this rule, was if you're not very good at it, you can go home. <laughs> <laughs> As soon as it becomes clear that you're not very good at it, you go, can I go? And you can go. <laughs> then I'll be on my own. Yeah. No, you'd be, you'd be at home. Ten years' time, knowing my luck, I'll end up married to, like, Gwyneth Paltrow. You know, oh, <laughs> I'll, be, uh, I'll be with Gwyneth and I'll be smuggling pepperamis past her. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just come in, Gwyneth. i just big, big, busy. Oh, for fun. It's a pork pie. Get over it. <laughs> can, we, can we see how far you get through the pizza and the cake during the show? Um, I mean, I'll finish... The, I'll, you know. <laughs> <laughs> It's a bit like the flake advert, the way you eat that pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Holy... <laughs> <that. laughs> okay. Shall I put this down now? No, eat it. Oh. Jimmy the feeder. Here comes Jimmy the feeder. <laughs> Oh, 
But I think the worst decision I ever made was um, I got engaged to a, uh, a prisoner on death row. No. <laughs> Turned out, miscarriage of justice, and uh, appeared on my doorstep. <laughs> Wasn't in the best of moods. I remember him said, Where's your big old titties? <laughs> you told me you had big old titty boys. <laughs> You ain't blown! You ain't 25, neither! <laughs> and, oh, God, that was awkward. Oh, yeah. That was a very... <laughs> I mean, it's quite awkward, awkward now, just hearing the story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you noticed that uh, plugins are very, seem very popular these days? Mm. Some kind of smell to uh, drift through your house, <laughs> cover all the other smells. And uh, I encountered I, I one the other day and I thought, it doesn't smell like a summer meadow to me. It smells more like a sort of strippers run through your house. <laughs> And I thought, why isn't there a wider range of plugins? Maybe a more sort of masculine range of plugins. Smells that you would say were more masculine, the appreciated smells. <laughs> so then I thought, what I love, I love the smell of cheese. <laughs> <laughs> what about a lovely cheese plugin? So we've got Stilton there, look at that, isn't that? Oh. <laughs> oh, smells like Russell Brand's bedroom. Um, <laughs> this is Edam. <laughs> Can you just use I the cheese? <laughs> They're too big to all plug in. <laughs> are, you saying, are you saying I would need to make a decision as to which cheese I wanted to smell in the house? No, because <laughs> I wanted to give an all-over cheese shop aroma. Oh, for Christ's <laughs> sake! <that's... laughs> really? Death, hated, and now alcoholism. We've got it all on this show. <laughs> Never fucked a bear, though, Jimmy, have I? <laughs> I don't go into bear. the woods and fuck bears, so <laughs> feel a lot better than you. <laughs> Bear fucker. Yeah. <laughs> and he tugged off a koala. Yeah. <laughs> Sicko. Oh, we've all done that. <laughs> Goes into the woods with his picnic basket. <laughs> oh, here comes Jimmy again. What are we doing? <laughs> run, boo boo, run! Oh, you <laughs> I'd like to see the documentary yeah. telling all the harrowing stories of Bear in silhouette. Well, he came up to me in a zoo! <laughs> <laughs> you know when you see the bear's heads sort of on the wall? Yeah. You should see the room behind. Yeah. <laughs> you in there with sunglasses and a big cigar. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to read a few of my gritty limericks for you now, if I may. Yeah. And this first one is basically about the breakup of the nuclear family and the uh, profound impact it has on one or both parents. <laughs> there was a divorced dad from Kent to whom at the weekend his children were lent. They all went to the zoo. He said, it's your mum, not you. And into the lion's cage he went. <laughs> <laughs> very, very sad, I think we can all agree. <laughs> um, this next... Uh, Limerick deals with one of the recent evils of modern Britain, a growing industry of misery, the payday lender. <coughs> <coughs> there was a single mum from Onga. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can finish. <laughs> Who for money relied upon Wonga. The cash she all spent at 4,000%, and now a home she has no longer. <laughs> right, if you wouldn't mind, John and Greg, just, just for a moment removing your mascots, I need a bit of space for mine. Huh. It's quite a big mascot. And, um... Uh, here it is. It's this. <sighs> <laughs> I was on holiday recently, and I was, frankly, I was appalled at the price of the banana boat. <laughs> 30 euros! I've got three kids on at me. That's 90 euros. I thought, no, sorry, Javier. <laughs> I'm not giving you which 90 one, euros. Which one of your children is... <laughs> No. So I had a few um, cervezas <laughs> and uh, I, I stayed up and I made this beauty. And it works brilliantly because you just have to. Um, got to go all the way around here. 
you made this while you were drunk, yes? I was quite pissed when I made this. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I mean, that, that, that certainly checks out. That serves not just as a lot of fun for the family. I mean, I paid for the whole holiday with this. Because <laughs> then you get that down there, get all the kids on there, and then, then off I go. <laughs> And there's absolutely no way that you look like the king of the pedos. <laughs> on, show us king of the pedos. How do you do it? You hey! <laughs> you drag all the children off. <laughs> also, I found this. <laughs> Keep your hands away from my cookie jar. <laughs> <laughs> Someone wants to take a biscuit and they, they open it and they go take a biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> and they go, what the hell's going on? Did you just took a cookie out? <laughs> <laughs> he told you 15 times. <laughs> He's very ineffectual. <laughs> 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 With my cookie jar. <laughs> Are they real cookies? It's <laughs> been in his mouth, my hands. <laughs> really? Yeah, Paul. <laughs> a friend of mine came to me with a problem and he asked me for a solution. He's a plumbing and heating engineer, he's often called out to fix boiler problems, heating problems, uh, also air conditioning. And he frequently <laughs> gets calls to a nudist camp. And they kind of have a no clothes on site policy. <laughs> and he finds it do. very uncomfortable. So I've come up with this, an idea of a onesie with his body on it, and then he can go to work, satisfy their desire, their, <laughs> their weird <laughs> desire to see... to see um, <laughs> his body. <laughs> Yeah, this is, you know, yeah, that's a... You can imagine the science. For some weird reason, <laughs> nudists <laughs> want everyone else to be nude, don't they? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that is weird. Just... <laughs> and he's working away, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and they come past, he just goes, see, I'm fine. <laughs>